Okay, y'all, so I bought cheap fragrances from Timu, and we're actually going to be trying those today, okay? I'm a little excited, I'm intrigued, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what we have so far. So if you're interested in trying these, you know, seeing my reactions to these fragrances for the first time from Timu, please keep watching. Okay guys, so I actually ordered 10 fragrances from Timu and I only have six here. It's been about two weeks or so and I just figured let me go ahead and do the video because the way it's going, um, they may not get here for like another month or so. So I would appreciate if I can get my other four fragrances from Timu, that would be wonderful. But we're gonna go ahead and start sniffing some fragrances today. These are still box, never sniffed them, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Let me see if they're, you know, if they're worth, if they're worth the cost, I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with the first fragrance. And this one is called, Poa Moon. Poa Moon perfume. I don't know. All of these fragrances were under $15 or so. So I don't remember exactly how much this one costs. But this one is called Poa Moon. And let's go ahead and open it here. I feel like I already smell it. Okay. It's leaking. Okay, it's leaking. So guys, this one is Poa Moon Perfume. And if you recognize the bottle, it's giving Chance. It's giving my Chanel Chance Otondra. Um, so I don't know if this is supposed to be like a dupe of that. I do have that fragrance here, so maybe I'll try both of them together. But let's go ahead and give this one a spritz and see what we're feeling. It is leaking though, which I'm not happy about that. So let's just... Spray that here. Okay, so I don't know what's in here. Um, which have the notes? I'll see if I can find the notes, put them on the screen. But it's actually giving me like, it definitely doesn't smell like a high quality fragrance at all. It smells like there could be like some strawberry or something in here, but almost like that baby doll head thing. And just, Yeah, I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It almost smells like, like maybe like a, like the cheap, uh, like the child uh, children's like bubble bath soap, something like that. I don't know. That's what it's that's what it's giving giving me. So this one definitely isn't pulling off the Chance Otondra vibe, but it doesn't smell terrible. It doesn't smell terrible. Okay guys, so the next one we're gonna get into, oh, this is so much fun, is called <laughs> Scent of a Woman. And I'm thinking that this is a, a dupe, or I don't wanna say a dupe, but like a iteration or something of God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Okay, so here is the bottle, and I believe it does have notes on here actually. It says it has top notes, a pear, Umbrette and Oris. So pear, umbrette, and Oris. I don't know if those are all the notes or just the top notes, but this is Scent of a Woman. So let's go ahead and give her a try. Let's see. See what we got. This is my first time, and I'm just like, I've been waiting to try these. Let's see. Hmm, okay, so this one is kind of giving me like, I think this one is, It's. it seems like a bit better than the last one in the, in a way that it does seem to have like a little bit more character to it. It's kind of sweet. Kind of sweet and fresh. It, it's not. It's not a whole lot. I gotta say, like these fragrances seem to be like disappearing fast. So not like a whole lot of quality, but this one doesn't. It doesn't smell bad. It's just I couldn't quite pick up like 
pear or umbrette or anything like that in here. It smells just kind of youthful and sweet. It smells youthful and sweet. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. And, and I'm not I'm not trying these on my skin right now. I'm trying just on the sprayer on the paper. So it's not bad. It just smells kind of sweet to me, but like a fruity a fruity sweetness, very linear. Like I don't get a whole lot with it right now on paper. So yeah, but not bad. I do think I like this one better than the last one. Next one guys, so the next one that we have is called Sweet Divine and let's go ahead and open it and see what we, oh, see what we got here. Okay guys, so here's the bottle of Sweet Divine. It's giving Jimmy Choo, it's giving a little choo choo, it's giving Jimmy Choo, um, but let's see. Um, if it's giving Jimmy Choo on paper. Okay, let me look at these notes because I think it has notes. And it says bergamot, blackberry, and pear are the top notes. So very fresh notes it's saying. Guys, this is reminding me of This is literally kind of reminding me of, and I know, I know, but there is something in here <laughs> that is reminding me of that um, uh, niche fragrance called Narco Oasis. Listen, don't you, don't you, listen. I'm not saying it smells like it, but there's something, like there's a note in here now for some reason, like I'm, I'm being reminded of that. Like I'm kind of smelling that. But I don't know, like these aren't giving me like a punch. These aren't giving me lasting. They're not giving me, like it seems like there can be just like a whole bunch of water in these. That's like, like there's a little bit of something scented but I'm just not getting, I'm not getting like any powerhouse in them. Like in the top, I do feel like I get something that it does smell like fruity and, and stuff, but like it's very light. I don't know. Okay y'all, this is, what is this called? <laughs> Um, sweet divine it, it 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 I don't know it smells sweet it's it smells a little this is hard this is hard for me because honestly I just feel like I'm not smelling anything they all smell so like watered down and linear like it's not giving me Like I smell it, I do smell it, but they smell just like really watered down to me. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to one that I'm super excited about. I was super excited about smelling this one because how else, what else are you trying to give me with this fragrance? And this one is Kayla, K or KLA. KLA, which is clearly giving Kayali. And by the bottle, it's clearly giving vanilla 28. So I was like, let me see what this is smelling like. Like, okay, so this is this is KLA, KLA. Um, and I really want to see, like, does this smell like vanilla 28? I I needed to try. Like, what are are there notes on here? Let me see. We do have notes. And it does say vanilla orchid, brown sugar, and jasmine. So those are definitely notes that are in Kayali's Vanilla 28. So let's see. Let's see. I need to see. I need to see. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 
okay, they're really trying here. They are really trying here, but this, you can, it smells like they're really trying, like, no doubt, no doubt. I can get the brown sugar, I can get that, but there is something in here. I'm gonna let it die down <laughs> because in that top, there's clearly something super artificial, alcoholic, like very alcohol, like strong alcohol. But they're trying, they're trying. I, I get it, I get it. I can't say that I don't get it. I can't say, I won't lie and say that I don't get what they're trying to do with this. This is definitely trying to Kayali dupe for sure. Is it a good dupe? I wouldn't say it's the best dupe. I do think that that alcohol thing is vicious in the beginning. Vicious. It is dying down to be a bit more like, like okay, I get that Kaoli. It's definitely not as deep. It's 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 like a more watery vanilla extract, like just watery or kind of alcoholy. But I can smell it in here. Like I, I would think that that's what they were trying to do. Um, but I think that there's better dupes. I don't think it's terrible. I, I really don't. Like I get the direction that they were trying to go with this because I have this fragrance. It's just, it's just not Kayali. It's just not, it's just not Kayali. Okay, let's move on. Okay guys, we got two more. So we're gonna go ahead and go with, um, we're gonna go with Pooch or Pouch for Her Blush Rose. So, um, I think that this is supposed to be like a coach fragrance. Um, and so because it's coach, I'm actually going to pronounce it poach. I'm going to say it's poach. Yes. And this is a poach. Um, oh. <laughs> so a little squeaky bottle, a little squeaky. So guys, this one is called Blush Rose. I am not sure what this is a dupe for, but I'm pretty sure that this is a dupe of some Coach fragrance. Um, so let's see what we got. Automizers aren't bad. I'll give them that. What's in here? Okay, y'all, we got top notes of bergamot, red currant, and rose. Um, Um, like I, it's, this is so hard to rate because these are starting to smell like they have this distinct smell to them that it's almost like I, I get some of that fruit or whatever it doesn't fruit or notes the only one that i feel like is the most like straightforward for me to be able to smell is the K kaylee or K K kla one. Oh, this is this is giving this fresh i guess kind of fruit vibe or something kind of floral vibe it just smells like they have this just super artificial thing to it. I, like I, as long as this was okay on skin, um, I would maybe give it to like my future daughter that's like super young, that just wants that play in something. Like I'd give her a few spritz of this cause it's not gonna last long and it's kind of like something I would, I, moving on. Okay guys, so the last one we have comes in this beautiful box here. And if you don't know, it's well it's called Mc McMacky Sight. And if you open it, you will see we've got a Lilabo. 
We've got a Lilabo, and this one is called Vetiver Grass 046. So once again, I'm not sure what they're trying to emulate here, um, but let's see. I don't know what fragrance. Yeah, like the sprayers are like are not bad, you know? Hold on now. not bad i it's called vetiver grass and i can definitely get that like earthy grassiness like it smells kind of woody grassy like a woody earthy grassy type of thing mm? and it's and it's it wasn't bad from the beginning like i didn't get a whole freaking clog my nose up of alcohol. Like I didn't get that in this. Not bad. My personal opinion, not bad. Like compared to the other ones, not bad. I think some of them are just really like giving baby doll head, you know. But this one, Vetiver Grass 046, not bad not bad okay okay all righty guys so that's gonna be the end of today's video i hope you liked it i mean we had six fragrances here i gave my thoughts and first impressions on all six of them i do have some more coming in so if you liked the video definitely leave me a comment down below telling me you know that you like it and that you'd like me to do a part two maybe because like i said i do have some more coming in but i will have to say of all of them not really my cup of tea. I definitely see this being geared towards something that maybe like you can give like young child to kind of play with. I would even be hesitant of that just because of the alcohol content in here. But just like with supervision, kind of having a little like boop boop, you know, a little spray or whatever, your own little perfume. But I will say that of all of them, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad at vetiver grass. 046 like I'm not mad at this like this is not I'm not sure if I'm gonna spray it like if I'm gonna wear it but I I'm not mad at it on paper it, it smelled the most pleasant like the most like quality one from all of the ones that I smelled here um, it smelled the most quality so um yeah, I don't know, you know, try out Mc, McMackey site and I don't know, get your nose on it. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not terrible, you know, and none of them smell like terrible, terrible, but some of this alcohol content, it just doesn't smell quality doesn't smell quality to me um so guys once again if you like the video definitely like comment subscribe all the things and i will see you here next time